almost there. One and a half minutes. Yeah. I think that's it. Woohoo! Turn right, then take the second left. How you doing? Good, how are you? Let me guess, you want to check in. I would love to check in. That's it, right where they're talking. That is a big disappointment. I'm gonna see what he has to say, because that's, that's not even a spot. So we just got to our site and it's a very nice site. However, for as much as this place cost, they kind of shoved us off into a corner, um, which we're not too enthused about. If we have to stay here, then it is what it is. I mean, as far as the spot, but Mel went up to the front to see if there was another option. Um, unfortunately, you don't get to pick your spot, but they put us situated right next to um, a bunch of bushes, which kind of obstructs the view and the rest of this seems to be pretty open. And that just kind of sucks, but Mel walked up front to see if we can get anything else and fingers crossed, if not, I mean, really not gonna make or break the trip anyway, it'll be fine. We still have a good view, it's just kind of obstructed by some of the trees. Mel just called, she was able to work her magic and we were moved down to a much better spot. Um, she said the lady told her that we don't like to typically put people on that spot. I'm like, why does that keep happening? We were just, uh, when we were at the Hershey RV show, they put us in a spot that was horrible and the guy made the comment, yeah, we typically don't like to put people in that spot. So I don't know why that keeps happening, but here we are now. So I wanted to take a minute to talk about streamlining your water setup. Make sure you flush your water, because you don't know how long that's been sitting. Uh, and I just flush every part of the process, especially if we've had a hose sitting for a bit, like we did the past couple days in the heat. Got your pressure regulator. Don't blow any hoses out. It's all quick connects. Quick connect down here. Then one more quick connect. And uh, we're all set. You turn the water on, you're good to go. Everything we do water filtration wise is integrated into the camper already. So pretty much other than hooking up my pressure regulator uh, and this, I'm done. Doesn't matter where we are, we're still having pizza. We're down in Key West. We had a five or six hour drive today. Walked around a bit, went and checked out some of the sea life here. There's some sharks. Uh, we were looking for manatees, but there wasn't any in the bay at the moment. And now we're, uh, we're back from the pool and Mel's making pizza. This park is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm not just talking about the pizza chef outside. So we got a busy week ahead. Um, we're not leaving until next Friday, so we got six days left and a lot to do. Wednesday we're doing the drive to Tortugas. Busy drive day, but this park is absolutely beautiful and we can't wait to see what else Key West has to offer. Until then, pizza time. Bahia Honda State Park? Bahia Hoda? Bahia. Bahia Honda. Where? Bahia Honda. Where are we at? Honda State Park. <laughs> so far it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And we were talking to somebody this morning that said that it had been very cloudy, very rainy the last week. Yep. And yesterday was the first day that they had full day of sun. And it looks like it's going to be that way all week, so that's yeah. exciting. And we're uh, here at the state park. We've only hit the uh, parking, parking lot. lot, and we're <laughs> impressed. So, let's go look.
uh, we just did a loop around Bahia Honda State Park. Yes. However you would say it. That's how you say it. It's, it's really pretty. It's a tiny little park, very limited space, limited on rig size and amenities as far as like water and electric and stuff, but it's an adorable park. Yeah, it was uh, $9 total for us to get in, so $4.50 yeah. each. Lady at the gate said that the sunset here is phenomenal and we're allowed to come back later and reuse our pass, so we might swing so by we tonight. Might come but back. This is why you always ask about the best place for things from locals. We're back at Bahia Honda State Park for the sunset since your day pass gets you back in. Or Mel asked the gate girl, where's the best place to see sunset? She said, make a right and go up the bridge. I'm like, what? So sure enough, we missed, we missed, we the, missed the path earlier for the bridge. <laughs> and we kept saying it'd be cool to go up there. Turns Stay out the trail. you can. Yeah, no, you can if you just have. Uh, yeah, look it. And we're going up the bridge to the, uh, or the path to the bridge. The bridge to the path. Here whichever, we come. Whichever way you look at it. Film crew on location. I'm new at this. Assistant producer. Unfortunately, not a great sunset. It was still good. Yesterday's was really good. And ironically, Mel made the comment that the problem is it goes down and everyone walks away and misses all the great colors. It went down and it felt like it was down, so we walked away. And as soon as we got back to the camper, the sun kind of blew up and did its own thing. Now I've got trust issues that's going to do it again. And it's, and it's still very pretty. I mean, the colors are still very beautiful. Like you. Had the cap on. Oh, bummer. I looked both ways before I crossed. We're looking at it. The deer refuge. Pipe done. <laughs> we just got we done uh, snorkeling with some fish. Yes. Putting my clothes back on. It was overall okay. Um, it was an expensive experience, and I've always wanted to swim in a tank with fish. We got to hand feed inside the tank some MOBA rays, which is cool. Yeah something to do. I think if you have kids this is gonna be way more exciting. Um, um, they have a whole area for fish petting, feeding, mm -hmm. um, starfish, stingrays, lobsters, all of it yeah. and definitely fun to see. Yeah, so I think if you have kids, this is a really cool experience. If you're an adult, it might be a cool experience, if you're, especially if you're timid about getting in the ocean with some sea life, unlike us who. That's actually a really good story. I finally get to use that footage. Lots of fun in Hawaii. Uh, but the coolest thing was we were on Big Island and staying at a Hilton Sheraton. And Mel was in the pool and I went to go grab us drinks or something from the bar and I saw Swim with manta rays, and truthfully, I'm like, I don't even know what a manta ray. Like in my head, every time I hear rays, sting rays, uh, we just swam with uh, moba rays. Anything that ends in ray, the first thing I think of is like traditional stingray. Go back to Mel, I'm like, hey, do you want to go swim with manta rays? She's like, yeah, sure. So I'm like, it's just right out, right out here in the water, right from the hotel. We don't have to go far. We could see it from our hotel room. What time are you gonna go? I'm like nine. She goes. Yeah, go sign us up. Finally came back into the shop with him and we're getting all the paperwork signed oh, up, yeah. getting signed up, and the lady goes, Okay, well we'll see you we'll see you tonight at ten. 
And Mel's like, you never said 10 p.m. I'm like, oh, I did. I said 10 o'clock tonight. She goes, no, you did not. It incredible. Was so we went absolutely out, incredible. So we went out on a, um, it was it's like, like a big a, canoe. At 10 o'clock at night, pitch black, couldn't see anything, and jumped in the deep, dark ocean with uh, manta rays. They were absolutely incredible. That was an amazing experience, and the way that they feed, they, they're attracted to the plankton, from, and they can see the plankton from the moonlight. And they feed with their bellies up, so you're face flat down in the water with, you're holding on to basically like a surfboard with handles on it. And then they mount lights to the bottom of it. Uh, don't touch them because their skin is very sensitive and just the oil oils or lotions or whatever could be very harmful, harmful to them. Um, so you just float out there. They turn a light on on the bottom of the board, as Mel said, because the plankton come to the light or the moonlight, all the plankton come to the board. And then these manta rays just... They go down to the bottom, you see them really far away, and they then... Swoop up, and their mouths are, like, huge. wide open. And it's terrifying and exciting all at the same time. look left it's just dark water you look right dark water and then you look back again and you see them coming up at you and you almost have to get out of their way because they're un they're right underneath your belly so that was a ton of fun i've always wanted to swim in a tank so cool we have some more snorkeling coming up in the next couple days so we'll see how that goes probably head into key west tomorrow to see the touristy stuff so when we checked in the other day, the front desk had told us that there's a good chance you're going to see manatees, some sharks, some uh, bigger fish, and possibly even a squid down by the docks. So in our daily walking, as we like to walk a ton, we kept checking back by the docks. We saw some sharks and saw the bigger fish, didn't see any squid or anything, um, but we've been trying to see the manatees. And today we were sitting out here thinking we should be doing something instead of just sitting here. Let's go take a walk, check down by the dock, see what's going on. And there were two manatees there today, just hanging out. Um, super photogenic, actually, for the most part. They came up for, for some air and we got the GoPro footage and it was really cool. Um, I had to send some pictures to my mom because she's obsessed with manatees. Uh, she asked if we were t bringing one home. And I told her we'll see if it fits in the shower. So that might happen. We'll see. But hopefully we'll get to see some more and uh, see some more wildlife while here in the Keys. And you forgot something in the car. You have to run five minutes back. We are full. 
It's done with dinner. We had dinner at Latitudes. Um, you take a boat out there. It was really cool. Sunset Key. We had uh, yeah. a table right by the water, which I don't know if he's the manager. He seemed managerial, said it's the best table in the place, and I right. can't disagree. We were up front, right. watched an incredible beautiful. sunset. Dinner. Really good food, good awesome. drinks. Service was great. So if you're looking for a luxurious dinner, check out Latitudes. It was a really beautiful. cool experience. Mellow vision. Mellow vision. What are your thoughts so far? Feels very tropical. Somewhere between a mix of like Myrtle Beach and Jamaica and Hawaii. If you, and like it's a hard feeling to explain unless you've been to a tropical place. It's cool that this is connected. Like we both love Hawaii. We gotta fly there. Jamaica was really cool, but we gotta fly there. Or take a boat. Or take a boat. Just jump in the car and went. It's only 22 and a half hours. Really? If you don't count the stops and it was probably closer to 30 hours really. Anyways, we're going That's to nice. catch sunset. Over there. Over there.